Hi guys, this is Prompt Engineer and in this video we are going to fine tune an open source model, specifically MPT7B from Mosaic. We're gonna use run pods for the GPUs, We're gonna use Jupyter and compare the results of the fine tune model with the original model. This is going to be fun, let's get started. So this is the model we are talking about, this is MPT7B from Mosaic ML. It's an open source model and it's one of the finest models that you can get your hands on. I'm going to use run pods for this and uh, in the run pods we are going to select a template. Under the templates we are going to select a template known as the Jupyter Lab. And once we deploy this we're going to need to select the GPUs. So we're going to select this GPU RTX A 4500 then next to go into next step we go to set overrides there's nothing to change here we click on continue here and we can click deploy it will take a few minutes for the pods to get ready we can click on my pod and drop this down and see the installations go through once the installation is complete we can click on connect here so we start the web terminal here and we click on this HTTP service port 8888 once it is ready. It will bring us to the Jupyter Notebook but we need a password for that. So in the under the lock sections you can get a password. So this is the password under the lock section. We need to put in the password here. Click on login and then we will be sent to the Jupyter notebooks we can now set up a notebook uh, let's click here let's click under rename let's click uh, say fine-tune.ipynb and let's start the show so pip install transformers datasets accelerate and eiNOPS so we install this required libraries next we are going to import the dependencies different modules that is required for this fine-tuning process so these are the modules that are required don't worry I will put in the link for the codes and you can run it yourself so the next step is we're going to use this model mosaic instruct model mpt we are going to define a class okay so this class will have this function a call function and a format instruction function and the base or init function instruct a text generator pipeline class and here are the few instructions or prompts so we are going to run this next we are going to create an instance of that class we're going to use this model mosaic ml mpt7b instruct we're going to run this it is going to download the model it's a huge model about 10 gb but it's okay for run pods Next, we are going to create this class, uh, a stopper class. We are going to create this function of uh, generate text. And uh, we are going to use this instance of the generate class function. So let us wait for the installation and the downloads to complete. Once it is complete, we can now use this generate text and we say hello generate text is the final function that is so it responds with a hi now the model works mpt7b instruct model works but we need to fine-tune it now so for fine-tuning it let's use some data so the data we are going to be use using is the ag news data now if you head over to google and say ag news um, data set from hugging face we can see the type of data set that it is it has some text string and labeling so based on the context it has different labels uh, for the data there are four labels for the data and this data set is divided into test train uh, splits so we are going to use that data set and we are going to tune it so let's run this and it is going to download the data set next we are just wait for the download so these are the four uh, 
classes that the data can be or four labels that the data can be so this is another function that we need to run so we tokenize the data set here we convert the encodings into PyTorch data sets and we convert the encodings to PyTorch data sets so this is the final train data set and validation data set now before fine-tuning we so the in the process of fine-tuning we need to you know before that we need to see the output so for the index 0 we see that this is the input that is given and the if you look at the response the response is quite large and it shouldn't be that large which will be evident uh, after you will compare the difference once we fine-tune the model so let's fine-tune the model and then see the difference so for fine-tuning it we are going to freeze a layer so in this case we are going to freeze the layer of 31 so whatever there is 31 we're going to freeze that so let's run this and then you're going to define the arguments we run this we're going to define the trainer and train and next we're going to run this trainer dot train and this is how we train the model we are going to need the weights and biases login for that so we head over to weights and biases login page we sign up for this account and click on personal click on continue and copy this key and put it in this location and click enter press enter and then the training process will start you will have a display of the training losses here and you can see the losses goes on decreasing and it took me about I think about 12 minutes for this output for the training it is quite less time for uh, the training I would say so after the training is complete uh, you can scroll down and you can see the different parameters different outputs we can also have a uh, watch on the model evolved and now it's time for the testing so let's test the model so put in index 0 and you see the output of response is business and the correct label is business we put in index 1 and we see the response as SciTech correct is SciTech put in different index and we get the response as a short crisp response instead of the longer response that we get in the previous so we can download this IPYNB for you for for me to share so let's download this so that I can share this to you so after uh, we download this it's time to watch the weights and biases uh, losses so different you can see the losses it goes down consecutively and you can see the other outputs here let's uh, shut this down so shut down and it is going to shut down this Jupyter notebook let's close this out and in the my pods we are going to go to this hamburger sign and you're going to say terminate pods and you will see that you get a few warnings here all the data will be gone so let's say yes we don't have any issue in there so this is gone let's look at the cost that we have incurred so the cost is about 0.3 us dollars it is quite less compared to the purchase of a gpu so this is how you fine tune a model i hope you like this quick demonstration in the future i will come up with more fine-tuning examples of other large models such as Falcon 40B or other large models. But until then, stay healthy, stay fit. This is your host, Prompt Engineer, signing off. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.